The universe will end, but will it happen with a crunch or an endless expansion? In 5 billion years, the sun will turn to a red giant, but that's not the end of the universe. Most scientists say the universe will continue to expand forever. But still, there are two possible outcomes. A big freeze and a big rip. Let's start with the big freeze. In 100 billion years, the galaxies beyond the local group will be redshifted from our view, removing them from the observable universe. In 1 trillion years, there will be no more new stars to form in the universe. Still, it takes 100 trillion years from all the remaining stars to die. There will only be stellar remnants such as white dwarfs, neutron stars, black holes, and brown dwarfs. In one quadrillion years, the sun will cool to a black dwarf. No black dwarfs have been formed yet because the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. In addition, planets from star systems will be flung out of orbit into interstellar space. Quintillions and quintillions of years after, stellar remnants will be flung out of galaxies or fell into supermassive black holes. In 10 to the 40 power years, even the protons and neutrons will decay, leaving only black holes and leptons. Black holes don't last forever though. In 10 to the 106 power years, the last of the black holes has evaporated, leaving only a photon and lepton void. The heat death is the decaying of the photons and leptons in their final energy state. That is the big freeze. Now, let's take a look at the big rip. First, galaxies including the Milky Way will fly apart. Next, star systems including the solar system will be unbound. Then, stars and planets including Earth will explode. Later, atoms will be destroyed. And finally, subatomic particles will disappear. In the Big Rip, even space-time itself will be ripped apart. That is the Big Rip. We've got a good time right now before these scenarios happen. Scientists say the universe is most likely headed for a big freeze. We've got around 100 trillion years but before the freeze sets in.